1030 Grubble Art Rhode Island, Red Rooster, 101.9, Dog FM. It is Dylan Black, 942, and it's very cool because he created the show that's happening at the NAC. It's been going on all weekend. Another show tonight, another one tomorrow night. It's called The God That Comes. Very cool. And he's a Juno Award winner, and he's part of the landscape right here in Canada when it comes to rock music, and his name is Hoxley Workman. Good morning, Hoxley. Morning, Dylan. Thank you for that. Well, thank you for joining us this morning. I mean, uh, you're in, what is it, 13 albums at this point? How many albums have you put out? Yeah, it is something like that. Thir- I, 13 or 14. Uh, yeah, I just, I mean, if there's a studio and I got a free minute, usually I'm in there doing something. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, uh, I mean, this the new disc that, uh, when did you release the disc? It's basically music that goes along with your show. Yeah, you know, the show is a one-man show. So it's me with a guitar and I play some drums and I play some piano and keys and stuff. But... Th- you know, I didn't think that was going to translate to the recorded format without, you know, the visual spectacle of being in the theater. So, you know, in, in a way, it's like, it's kind of a, it's a, it's a concept record, really, you know, it sort of sounds a little, maybe even like Pink Floyd in that way. I go back to my, my love of the wall and, and, and records like that. And, and so the record itself is quite a, a big production by comparing compared to the show that is okay i mean so all these years you've been doing music all of a sudden you put together this like what would you call it like i mean uh a bit of a play a screenplay a show like it's a one-man show like it's you're saying show. we've been calling it a rock and roll cabaret because i mean the word musical you know turns a lot of people off kind of turns me off um but it's a rock and roll cabaret really i guess and and then you know it, it just sort of happened. I think if you're a curious person and you're, you know, you're in the music business doing stuff, um, I tend to find it hard to say no. And so my collaborator, Christian, he said, look, I've got this idea for a show. What do you think? And of course I said, well, yeah, why not? And then here I am at the NAC, you know, in, in a, in a, in a, in a world that I didn't used to live in, which is the theater world. Yeah, because, I mean, you've done, been doing rock shows for like a, well, a decade plus yeah, at this exactly. point. <laughs> I don't want to don't want to date you there, you know? <laughs> yeah, uh, I can feel it. My liver can feel it, too. Yeah, <laughs> good. I mean, the stories you must have, right? But uh, not for not airworthy. <laughs> uh, but it's 75 minutes and no intermission. I mean, when you're up there, how does it feel when you're, you know, you're trying to... Uh, put the show on you're trying to tell a story through music and and is it i mean labor of love i guess right it is and it's it's funny that you say that like that 75 minutes no intermission thing i think you know it's it's a it's it really is a toboggan ride and once you're on the toboggan you don't get to get off until the bottom and as a performer like i sort of feel like i go into a trance and i sort of wake up at the end of the show it's there's something really um yeah, it's it's really it, it consumes all of me, and, and I'm I guess I just hope that 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 the audience sort of feels the same. Okay, how many uh, dates have you performed at? I mean, this show in particular. I mean, at the NAC, we know you've been there throughout the weekend, but how many uh, how many shows have you done of the God that comes? Uh, well, we did a month in Calgary. We did, and we've done weeks in uh, Victoria and Vancouver. I think we're heading towards you know thirty, forty times now, and we'll. You know, we've we've got a, a full schedule coming for the next year or two. Uh, we're going to Europe this summer, and next year we're in Toronto for a full month. So I'm going to be doing the God that comes quite a bit in the next little while. And are you going to sort of mingle that in between, like mix it up with uh, your normal show? Oh, totally, yeah. This summer, you know, summer for Canadian musicians is a wonderful time because we all bump into each other bright and early on uh, at the airport on the weekends because we're all flying off to festivals here and there. And Ottawa, as you know, has so many great festivals. And, mm-hmm. and there's great festivals all across Canada. So, yeah, in amongst all of this sort of theater stuff, I get back to being a rock and roller and uh, flying around on airplanes and stuff. That is cool. Well, it's been a pleasure to talk to you this morning, and I, I recommend people need to see this tonight or tomorrow. I mean, it's part of the Magnetic North Theatre Festival happening at the National Arts Centre and the venue. I mean, it's it's great to see you up close and personal like this, right? Because I saw you perform, I don't know if it was Canada Day or something, a bunch of years back, and I was like a mile back, a <laughs> kilometre back, and I, I could I could hear you singing Smoke Baby and stuff like that, but I, I think I know, I think I see him. <laughs> It's far away. <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll, you can, you'll, you'll be able to see me real, real, real close at the NAC. That's awesome. Tickets available through the NAC box office. The God That Comes. Check it out. Hawksley Workman, thank you for joining us this morning. Thank you so much. Taking off your day the Dylan Black way on 101.9 Dog FM. We're rocking.